Here you go, fellas. Here we go. Then in Fitzroy, you can tell, I've got the bastard son with me. What's that one? It's an APA, American Pale Ale, brewed in Fitzroy. Got it from a Coppin, just uh, down Johnson Street. Have a look at this. Nice looking beer. Real American Pale Ale looking, isn't it? Wow, that's really good. That's actually pretty awesome. See that one around, fellas? It's one of those things, you don't know whether you want to admit to the bastard son. And there it is. Oh, it's glorious. It's fucking beautiful. So, get amongst it. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, they got that really well balanced. Some great hops in there. Good head. It's holding its head. Good. So that's that's us. I just helped um, Bikram Yoga. They're in the news this week. I can't remember why. I was walking past and I was pulling a, a sticker off the window. And they're holding this little ladder and they got one girl up the ladder and she can't really reach it. And I just sort of walk past and walk back about two minutes later and I was still going for it and I stopped and sort of offered my services and got up and helped them and the lady was giving me a month free Bikram yoga so I guess where I'm off to next week yoga? Trev? you kidding me oh well could be alright though there's a bit of talent there I was looking alright is this what I found in the... It's just sitting in the pot plant there. It's a drawing of a tree on a on a rock. It's weird. Where'd that come from? There's something here that's real weird as well. This was... Um, oh, look at that. It's a little Chinese. It's about 80 odd years old. It's from um, my wife's dad's um, childhood. It's amazing, isn't it? It's an old Chinese bridge. He grew up in Shanghai. Uh, the family, his old man was a barrister for the royal court. So they lived in uh, Beijing as well for a while. But so he's got all these expensive things that the that he hid from the communists because they come through the house and took anything that was expensive took all the gold out how's that? they just take your gold that's what they do during war you know if you're going to stockpile of gold thinking you're going to get through well, they come through and government confiscates it they did it in, a, in the states I think yeah someone they had tons of gold and they bought it in Mexico and then all of a sudden it disappeared because they put a, a bounty on the gold. They were going to come and get it off them. So it just disappeared. No one's ever seen it. I know what happened to it. It got fucking sold off and uh, little pieces here and there. And it probably kept the family afloat during the war. Oh well. Don't know what I'm going to do if all shit breaks out. we get Donald Trump in. That's off to war I reckon fellas. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets in. Because I think they want to go to war again. Oh well. I'm going to do what the masters tell us. Be thinking. Alright, I'll leave you with that. I chopped that back. That had heaps of flowers and it's come back. Only took about a week and a half. You've got to just keep breaking off the old stems where the flowers are. With those. They, they just keep coming back all year. They're the best plant out there, I reckon. You can't murder them. You break a bit off, throw it in the garden, it'll grow. It's unreal. Alright, cheers.